2 to 6 a.m. Yeah, dark it is outside. Well, we'll go down the doors. First of all, there's a constant rocking, like he's like in a, a rocking a chair. Recliner. I come out into the hallway with this. Listen to this. Come on out. Right below, and it's 2 or 7 a.m. We're in the part of the 2 or 4 right below him, by the way. Enough's enough, man. Can't even live like this. Blake, the reaction guy here. Jim. Also, the Blake and Zep show, just in case we put it on that channel, yeah. too. Okay. This is our noisy neighbor. But first of all, look at all this trash in front of it. Look, that's gum. That's gum. Oh, because there's another piece of gum right there. That's like a phone. Okay, first of all, we didn't break in here. The, this door is naturally He unlocked. moved out. He moved out. If you, Finally. So if you've been a long-time fan of my channel, about a year ago, in February of 2021, I did a video on a noisy neighbor, Joe. And uh, go check it out. It's a very cool video. This is how he leaves the apartment. Look at all these stains well, on the carpet. Ways? Look at that. Why are there weights sitting here? These people were filthy. Spider webs oh, in the corner. I didn't notice. You see that indent? Oh, yeah. That must have been where his stereo was. One of the speakers One of the, that the used speakers. to drive me crazy. Like a loud bassy noise, like a loud bassy stereo. And then he had this rocking chair that he would constantly harass me with because it would make a thumping sound because yeah. the rocking chair was partially not the rocking chair but the recliner yes. rocker recliner now we th now in a uh, joe video we did last year i thought it was a rowing machine like an exercise machine we can't we came to the conclusion that it was a rock uh, a, a rocking recliner we rock. thought it was a rowing. look at his vent this is like black mold or like, something. No, like I would hear this guy cough real violently at four in the morning. That's why he's been coughing, because of that vent. I mean, we don't have a light, unfortunately. The electricity's off, but this this uh, kitchen is disturbing. I don't know if you can see it. It's very dirty. Um, look, he left like a mayonnaise packet in the fridge, like a tartar sauce packet. It was unopened. Look at the, the... I'll show you the worst bedroom last. This is actually... Joe's bedroom, the pig, the troll. I used to, he looked like a troll and he talked like this. Yeah, yeah, uh, in for a penny, in for a pound, yeah. You couldn't understand the guy. Like, you couldn't understand him at all. He would order food, like, and go, ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I want to take a, ah, uh, yeah. I'm but, not even, he's been gone for a week and I can't get his voice right. He used to say, call me a, out of a-hole. Yeah, an a-hole, but he would say the full word, of course. Of course. Whoa, whoa, who's that? Is someone out there? Yeah, a car driver. Oh. This is, of course, the kitchen. I mean, sorry, the closet. Oh. Now, this is the worst bedroom. We're going to end this video soon. This is his son who used to live uh, above us. I mean, this pig. I mean, he is a pig. By the way, if someone named Bontempo ever lives above you, man, or near you... His name is Joe Bontempo. Yeah, I mean, just 
move out or don't move in, ask if any place, any apartment you look at in Pittsburgh, make sure you ask if anyone named Bontempo lived nearby. Like, in, yeah. Cause this, look um, at this guy. Look, look at that. <laughs> I'm sick to my... St look at that. What that the hell even is that? Like a dry piece of bacon from 1972? Oh yeah, first of all, we found it. We found oh, look at the walls. What the hell is this guy doing? We didn't even notice this yet. Look at the ceiling. Oh, what <laughs> the hell? We didn't even see that yesterday. Oh my God, this guy's a freak. Look at that above the window. <laughs> oh my God, this guy's a mess. Well, let's check out the broken table. Oh. Look, look at the weight that's sunk in the ground. Hey, look at this indent of a weight. Oh yeah, one time I'm in my room and water starts dripping from the ceiling. So God only knows what he had up here to trip water from about that spot there. Yeah, right. There's here. no pipes anywhere. One time he had to get his fuse box worked on by an electrician. God only knows what the electrician thought of this room. And by the way, it did take them. They brought a truck the size of a semi truck yes, to move. A huge they truck. filled it up, but the sun still came back for five straight days and took stuff out. This was like uh, a, a warehouse. Week. Yeah, it was like a week of moving out. They must have had stuff just piled everywhere in here. Like in every, like every square, like in every inch of this entire apartment. Pigs, trolls. This bathroom you can't see too much, but it's not oh, as look, bad. We're trying to get the tissue in the sink. Yeah, there is. There's a big, big hunk of tissue in the sink. I mean, then he leaves like a, a thing of soap or something. I mean, these people are going to be amazed. The apartment owners of this building are going to be run, amazed they when they come in and look at this place. Yeah. I mean, I should go call their new apartment and say, this is what you have to look forward to with those people living at your new apartment Long building. Tempo. Pigs. First of all, let me, let's, uh, so it took them a week to move out. Like, like either they had just stuff, oh. like they, like they had just junk glass they were hoarders yeah they're like they either had all this junk piled up to the ceiling in every inch of this apartment like or they had all the junk just piled in boxes for you, like years exactly you know how it's good luck to pick a penny up i wouldn't touch that penny if my life depended on it probably has like every known disease monkey pox now look at that it's an M&M. It's an M&M. It's an M&M. And it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to check this out. Uh, do we even look in the closet? No, I checked that closet, but not this one. What if a dead body was in there? Oh, look at that. Look at that. What? what? Mm. I mean, we used to think there were bodies up here. Because the noise they would make in the middle of the night, you'd hear thumping. You'd hear banging. No, you'd hear yeah. moving of furniture like... Argh! We used to think like only a body makes that noise like it, like randomly throughout the day, even throughout the night. Oh, and he loved buzzing this buzzer. <laughs> Not even using. Oh, there's no electricity. But he used to buzz this oh, thing for no. Keys? They're the keys to the apartment they left behind. But he used to buzz this buzzer for no reason. Like eh, eh, eh. I think it was one of those people that had like a disease where you have to like just do something and move or oh, he was really constantly good. moving there's a subway drink and it was like an empty cup from subway in there Who but see look, this floor isn't even that creaky but they would make so much like creaking when, like, sound. When, like whenever they would walk they would make creaking above us whenever they would move they would make creaking above oh us. well this is it folks this is gonna right, this well, let's, is, let's go. i'm just happy to okay. celebrate no more Joe! No more Joe! No more Joe! He's gone. His noise is gone. He's done with. He's out of here. Joe! Yesterday when we came up here, we found a receipt from a bank from May of 2019. Why did he have that receipt lying around? Yeah, it was around? right there. It was like right there. He had a receipt that was just lying around. Like, they must have had so much junk I mean, piled I was, up, yeah. I was going to say one other thing. I was only in this apartment one time is when I complained about his TV because he had a sound bar on his TV. So he didn't have a normal TV. He had a sound bar. And I'm going to put a clip in, if I can, of the, uh, him moving out where you see the kind of speakers that he had up here was, that drove us, yeah. drove me mostly crazy. Yeah. 
sound. Do you see the size of this? Look at the size of his speakers. Look at the size of those speakers, man. Jeez, oh man. That's insane. Jerk. I mean, I was literally going crazy. I had to call the police on him, yeah. and uh, I had to complain to all the landlords. He had said to the one manager that he turned off the music, but he let it play for 36 hours straight. <laughs> I mean, he was a menace, man. We should have taken him to court and sued him yeah. for harassment, man. We would have, we would have won. <laughs> Want to talk about the time he was like, "Yes, I understand." Oh yeah, he was probably he would talk on the phone up here and rock away, and it would be like thump thump. Here's the sound. Yeah. Imagine paying two hundred dollars a month for cable, Xfinity, and hearing. While you're trying to watch a movie. Yeah. And he was talking to some man. You tell the story. Oh yeah, and he was talking to some someone like a bill collector, and he was just going, "I understand, I understand." Shut it off, shut it off. <laughs> Meaning, I don't know what is water, is electric. electricity. Yeah, but um, like, like. I just want to make sure no one comes I in. I heard a door. All right, let's get out of here. But like, we heard noise constantly. Like. Go to their apartment. Are we gonna be quiet? But like, they would make. Yeah, let's go to this bedroom. I mean, technically, I don't know if we're allowed in here or not, but... But uh, the door's open. Yeah. The door's open, so we didn't even open it, break in, break in. Can you believe the ceiling of Mike's room? <laughs> That's so gross. All right, we would have get it. We would have ran this video. But like, he would make noise. Like, we would randomly just hear a thud above our head, like, <clears throat> and we used to think it was literally dead a body, body like falling. a body falling but now we realize it they must have had so much junk in here either just randomly out in the open or like all packed in boxes that's a van of some kind they might be coming in here to clear uh -huh. this place out we or, would have read the or video or they had like boxes all right so that's the end of joe piled with junk but joe the noisy neighbor he's finally moved out no more joe no more <laughs> joe peace thank you for old acquaintance, be forgot, forgot and never, never brought, brought to mind. mind. That sounds good to me. Bye, Joe. Forever. Unless he moves back. Of course, that would be a nightmare. The return of Joe.